Okay, hit the stop button. So I put the egg in the middle of the um, onions and leek. Um, just serve that up. And I've got that sauce. Uh, oh, I need to put some chipotle in there, but then I've got that sauce that I did for the beignets with the, um, the coconut milk. And when I was doing the beignets, look at the recipe for that. Mike Pence, never see eye to eye with Trump on January 6th. Mike Pence and his wife got a letter from me when they went back to, I forget which state they're from, uh, Midwest. Uh, and I, I sent it to his brother, I sent a copy to his brother's office here in D.C., his brother is a congressman, and to the, their home address in at the state, uh, you know, care of, which most probably might be where, where Pence and his wife were staying when they moved back. I mean, that's speculation on my part, but you know, if his brother's here and they have a house there that's empty, that's probably where they would have gone. Um, there are actually some families in this world who help each other instead of take the opportunities of someone being in a difficult position position to try and, 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 and you know use it to destroy them. It occasionally exists. It's very rare, but it does exist.
Okay. Well. I did. Uh, Should have put the egg in a little bit sooner. I think it's... These ones are a little bit uh, toasty. <laughs> James, uh, my bodyguard in Bogota, when I made, you know, we'd make oh, at least 500 cookies at Christmas, chocolate chip cookies. And there'd always be a couple that got burned. I mean, you could scrape some of them off at the bottom, and those would be for the family. <laughs> uh, but some of them, I was like, no. And he'd be like, don't throw it out, don't throw it out, don't throw it out. Why, even the burnt ones? <laughs> Oh, James, I got 500 over a plus. But the girls, the girls at the uh, Nina de Veracruz, they would always ask me, are you making your cookies for Christmas? Are you making your I'm like, yeah, you get your cookies. Okay, well, he went up, so I'm just gonna say. I'll tell you, I, my, I mean, my blood's boiling. I am so sick and tired of this. And I have, <clears throat> you know, I'm just like, I'm thinking, oh my God, how I miss my pots and pans in my kitchen in Madrid. I mean, I made that whole thing for me. I mean, not for me to eat. Obviously, I'm not the one who needs eating all of this. But for my zen and my cooking, and all of the lawyers, all of the judges, all of the court personnel, everybody who's been complicit to that and coming back to the United States, in the State Department, Capitol Hill, White House, Everywhere else I've gone, NGOs, Amnesty International, I'm going to destroy you. You want to destroy us? I'll destroy you. All you human rights people who want to, you know, cash in on this while well, human rights violations are escalating, like, so exponentially it's not even funny. The world's spinning out of control, and you little grappling social climbers, Baltazar Garzón, Ingrid Betancourt, Carrie Kennedy, Anne-Marie Slaughter. Yeah, these are the names. These are the Nazis. They are Nazi influences. I mean, they're going to say, oh, she's crazy. Okay. Let's sit down on a podium or a court of law and look at the evidence and see who is crazy here. <sighs> Not me. Not me. My stuff is based on evidence and fact. Not some bullshit that just comes out of my mouth because that's what I want to say. <laughs> <laughs>